So I'm, I'm all over that. And I spoke to Alan about it when it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So pay the no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. Jeff. Those are the leaked recordings of President Trump and his former attorney, Michael. And with me this morning to talk about these tapes is Cedarville political expert, Dr. Mark Caleb Smith. Now, over the weekend, lawyer, President's lawyer Rudy Giuliani went on the defensive saying Cohen has lied all his life months after calling him honest. Is the White House worried about Cohen? Right. I think clearly they're worried. If they weren't worried, they could safely ignore him. Uh, I think what you've seen uh, Mr. Giuliani engage in over the last 48 hours is really an attempt to impeach Cohen's credibility. Uh, so they're looking him, at him as a potential witness against the president in some setting, either in front of Congress or in a courtroom. And as long as they can smear his reputation to some extent and undermine his credibility, then it should lessen the effect of whatever he claims. How important is Cohen to the investigation that Robert Mueller is uh, in, involved in? Uh, he's potentially very important. Uh, over the weekend, we've heard information that Cohen is claiming to have direct knowledge that President Trump was aware of the nature of the meeting, the infamous meeting that took place between Donald Trump Jr., uh, Paul Manafort, uh, Jared Kushner, and Russian nationals in 2016. Cohen says that President Trump was aware that that was a meeting in, in order to work with the Russians to find information about Hillary Clinton. If that's true, then we have evidence, then direct evidence, that President Trump was willing to work with the Russians, collude with the Russians in a way, uh, for the purposes of winning the election. However, it should be clear, Cohen has no documentary evidence of that as far as we know, no paper trail, no audio recording, and so it's his claim as an eyewitness. We know more tapes exist. Do you think they will surface, and what do you think we'll learn from them? Uh, uh, you know, this is uh, Washington, D.C. I think eventually they will surface at some level. Uh, it could be a matter of days or weeks before we hear what's in those tapes. It could also mean uh, it's months or years before we hear because uh, they could be subject of a criminal investigation. Uh, it's hard to know what's in them. It could very well be that Mr. Cohen has uh, more damning testimony of the president, but is holding on to it for now, uh, just sort of to keep it uh, where it is. So we'll see. The president always seems to weather the storm when it comes to controversy. Do you think these tapes will hurt him at all? Yeah. Uh, I don't think they'll hurt him with his uh, constituency. I mean, the president's base of supporters has proven very resilient uh, throughout all of his ups, ups and downs so far in the White House. So I don't think they'll do that. However, if there's really uh, information in there that credibly ties Mr. Trump uh, to Russia in any kind of meaningful way, uh, then I think you will start to see independents and maybe even some moderate Republicans start to question the president's fitness for office. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Caleb Smith joined us this morning live from Cedarville University. Our time now is 7.